Hey guys, I'm um, going to do another mod video on my X-Arcade uh, tank stick. Um, this time, um, last my last video I installed these guys here. These are zippy sticks. Um, they're pretty much the same as a Sanwa or Shimitsu type joystick from Japan. Uh, slightly cheaper. Um, I've really enjoyed using them so far. I like the control of them, etc. Um, the only thing that's kind of a pain, and it's the say, same with um, most any joystick you get, with the exception of um, a few, um, that to switch them from four-way to eight-way, um, and what I mean by that is some games like, um, uh, let's say, Pac-Man, is a four-way joystick, so it's only supposed to be able to go up, down, left, and right. Um, you're not supposed to be able to hit the angles, right? And if you do hit the angles, it kind of messes up those games, all right? So right now I have it set up so that this joystick is a eight-way, meaning I can hit the angles for games like Street Fighter. Um, and this one I currently have set up as a four-way for games like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong and stuff like that. Um, but I, I really want the ability to have either one of them be a four or an eight easily. So my initial thought was to get thumb screws that could take the back of my tank stick off um, and then thumb screws on the back of the joystick to take the restrictor plate that's on there that lets you switch from eight to four way. But I couldn't find any um, thumb screws that really did the job well um, that were easy to take off of the tank stick and also um, didn't interfere with the use of the joystick. Okay. Uh, so I scrapped that idea, and I found this guy's here. I found these out on Amazon. Um, looking at the picture, I would have thought for sure they were metal plates, but it turns out it's plastic. Um, but it does feel like hard plastic. Uh, seems pretty well durable. And it matches pretty well the um, texture and whatnot of the tank stick. So I think it'll look okay. Um, and then it, it kind of is a put together yourself type thing. It comes with these little tabs, uh, which I'll show you in a second when it comes out. And um, I'll open it up and we'll go from there. So this is what it comes with. Um, that's the front and that's the back. And then and I put a link in the description of where I bought them. I bought them on Amazon, but um, the name of the uh, seller was Holland Computers. Um, so they give you these things and it comes with instructions as well. Um, they're not the greatest instructions in the world, but they do get the job done. Um, that explain how to assemble this thing. Um, so basically, as the instructions say, you flip it upside down like this. And then you take these little tabby thingies um, and the inside plate as they call it. And it has two different sides, and I believe that the texture goes towards out, just like the texture on the outside ring. Um, and then, so it, it slides in there like that. And then you get these little tabbies, and you can either use blue ones or red ones, or they're actually more like a pinkish red. Um, and they get popped into these little things here. They're a tight fit, I'm going to tell you. Um, you really got to work at getting them in, which I, I didn't like, but um, it's probably for good reason. Um, it's probably a necessity. So I'm going to work on that, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so I've run into a little bit of a snag, if you will. Um, sorry, a little bit blurry here. There we go. Um... The they seem to have sent me two different inner ring sizes for the two different ones. Now the first one I put together went together pretty easily and it slides really nice. So I'll put it in and you can see how it works. So pretty much like that. And then as you can see it, it rotates there between the two modes, right? This other one, though, it's a different size hole in the middle, and you can see that. 
um, considerably different size on the inside and it just doesn't seem to line up nearly so well when I put together the the plate here. Um, this direction, which is the direction the other one goes, it doesn't go in at all. And the other direction, um, so I can put it in, but then there's nowhere for the little round tabbies to come out. Because uh, these things need to pivot out to, to become eight-way. Um, and there's just nowhere for them to go with this one. Um, no matter which way I turn it, there isn't. So, so um, maybe I put it the other direction with the texture out on this one for some stupid reason. Um, but even then, you know, uh, I, I suppose then there's a room for them to come out. They're just different. I, I don't. I don't understand why they're different. Since I ordered two, um, I confirmed the part numbers and the bags are the same. Um, you know, one two one four one seven P five A five. They both say the same thing. Um, so maybe one's a replacement for the other, and they've changed the design slightly. I don't know. I mean, it works, but it, it is different. So, at any rate, that's that, that's my first kind of um, thing that I'm noticing is that they're different. Um, but at any rate, uh, on the top, I don't think I'll notice the difference um, too much when they're all assembled. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna work on taking my XRK apart. Uh, I gotta take the joysticks off in order to put the restrictor plates on but the restrictor plates will end up on the outside. I think they're going to clear the buttons, um, but we'll see. Um, at any rate, I'm going to work on taking the XRK apart, and then we'll start videoing again. Okay, so as I've done in the past, I opened up the back, and um, you can see the back of my joysticks. This one's currently set as a 8-way, um, and this one's currently set as a 4-way. Uh, I'm going to take the plates off completely, to give the full range of motion, uh, which is even better than um, having the restrictor plate on. And then we'll restrict it only from the top using these guys. Okay, so that's my plan anyway. Uh, so uh, to take the joysticks off, I just got to remove these four bolts on the corners, and then the joysticks will fall out. Um, before I do that, I'm going to take the restrictor plates off on each side which is simply a two screw maneuver here and here and here and here. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so I'll do that and I'll take the joysticks out and then we'll uh, start fitting on the restrictor plates. Okay, so I got the first one more or less installed. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it did clear the buttons, um, which is good news. Um, I'm going to take this off to kind of show you how it looks. Um, I'm going to take the dust cover off. Alright, a couple things. First of all, it came with red and or, or pink and blue ones and they are different actually. Um, so the blue ones as you can see are kind of a sharp point where the red pink ones are more of a curved. Okay. Um, I don't think the red ones uh, would work real well for a zippy anyways. Uh, maybe for a fatter joystick, maybe maybe for a slightly fatter um, um, shaft. Uh, but for, for the zippy shaft, I think the blue ones are the way to go if you're going to use this thing. Um, so let's show it in action here. A um, couple things. It, I really wish this was made out of metal. Um, or thicker plastic, or better plastic, or something. Um, and the reason why is because I don't know if you can hear this, but like it, if it, it like pops, okay, it's thin right here. Um, it's pretty thick overall, but where the two different wheels inside meet, this is super thin. And 
um, when you start moving this thing around, um, it really does become apparent and they start to pop up um, and the plates start to push down as well, the little blue things. Um, and that's without even ever even playing a single game with it. It also, it's hard to tell, but you can kind of see the plastic kind of coming up here. It's not fully flush, which kind of looks like crap. Um, um, so anyways, let's show you how it works. Um, so right now it's in four-way, which means I can't hit the diagonals, which is what you want. Right, the corners are blocked by that thingy. And it doesn't go fully into those crevices, but it, it goes enough for you to click the switches. Alright, so it works as a four-way. And then to switch it is really easy. You basically pull this little thing out, slide it down, and then pop it back in. And now, it doesn't pop, it doesn't pull them in, but when, when you use your joystick, it kind of automatically kind of pushes them in. And now it's eight-way. Alright? So, and then to switch it back to four-way, it's just as simple. Pull it out, and you can see it does push them out back where they go and you pop it in. So that's pretty cool. It is really easy uh, to switch. Um, and you don't see the mechanism once you put the dust cover on top and the ball um, on top. Or, or the bat top if you prefer a bat top type. You can screw on a bat top one. And they do sell these same restrictor plate dingies for wider shafts like you'd have in the American bat tops um, that come with the X arcade or if you went with like an IL Euro stick um, you could get these restrictor plates for that as well so um, I would say it, it's usable um, maybe great uh, I don't know but uh, I'm really disappointed with how thin this is and that it pops um, I also had this thing come out already once and I had to take the whole thing apart in order to get it back on, which really sucked, um, but because um, it, it's just a tiny little piece of plastic um, that kind of pops in. If I show you one of the ones that's not installed yet, and it pops into that crevice there. Um, the other issue is that this other one, like I said, is different, and uh, I wouldn't care so much that it's different, except that it doesn't work, right? Um, it's too wide here, so even when I rotate the wheel which doesn't slide very well like the other one does um, but even when I rotate the wheel it's not enough to pop in those things right so that's all it does so that's with it in its four way position well that's not going to really make it a, a bit of difference um, and then you know pulling it back the other way which again it doesn't slide so well um, allows you to pull it out but again when you go to lock it it doesn't really do much so this is they sent me the wrong restrictor thing, and I've tried flipping it inside out, and it's even worse. Um, if I go this way, right uh, now, there is no open, there's no eight way setting at that point, and even then, it still doesn't really make it a four way. Um, so that's not going to work, and then when I rotate it, it just stays much the same. So it definitely has to go the way I had it with the grain up. But even with the grain up, it, it just doesn't doesn't make it a four-way. Um, this outside ring here, the, the ring, the internal ring, I should say, um, is too large. So they sent me the wrong internal restrictor plate. Um, my guess would be it would be for a um, a thicker shaft uh, or something to that regard but um, it's not for mine um, so uh, first of all I can't make them both the same right now I, I have to get a hold of the company 
and have them send me another one uh, with the correct internal plate. That's the first issue. I really am not thrilled with the plastic feel of this um, and the fact that they kind of pop in and out. Well, I keep it um, for a while anyway, see if it's worth it. Um, I do like the easeability of changing it. Um, just as simple as pull out the tab, slide it out, pop it back in, and now I'm at 8-way again. Right. Put it back to 4-way, pull out the tab, slide it down, put it in, and now I'm restricted. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that's the 8-way. This pulls it out. Making it four way. So again, I can't hit my angles. I can't see it because the dust cover covers it, but it does work. Um, am I thrilled with it? And not really. Um, am I unthrilled with it enough that I'll get a different joystick? Um, probably not. I, I do like the zippy sticks. Um, so either I'll live with this or I'll go back to removing this and just sticking with the restrictor plates that come with the zippy stick that you have to access from the bottom of the cabinet to switch from 8 to 4, which does indeed suck, but um, most joysticks are that way. Um, there are some other options. There's some uh, mag sticks type thing where you can pull up, twist, drop down. And that switches from 4-way to 8-way. Um, and then there's other ones where there's a switch, but you still got to get inside the case to switch it. Um, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. It's kind of bowed up here. All right. Um, I also had to drill the holes considerably larger. Um, these holes are way too small for the bolts that go into the X-Arcade. So I had to get a drill, and I really had to make them much larger because of the squared edges on those screws on the bolts. Um, so you really have to make this quite a bit larger in order to get those square edges to fit in there. And then, of course, you have the issue that they don't hold because they're not square. Um, so you really can't crank down the bolts real well either. Uh, but I think I got them on tight enough, so to speak. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I really can't finish the job, but it'll be the same exact as this one um, once they send me another one that's the right thing. Um, it did take a while to get here. I want to say two weeks or so. Um, and so expect some time if you do order these. Um, again, pretty disappointed with the quality, um, the feel. Um, but it, they, they do work. If they had made them out of metal, which is what they looked like in the Amazon picture, I, I think they'd be perfect. Maybe they used to make them out of metal and they've switched to plastic. I don't know. But um, had they made them out of metal, I think they would have been wonderful. So, anyways, um, subscribe, um, comment, etc. I will respond to you as much as I can. Alrighty, take it easy. Bye.